připravujte. A very good morning to you from the end of stage number nine here in uh, Rally Canaris. It's, of course, round two of the uh, championship after we were in the Azores just at the start of the season. Uh, we're now here on this abrasive tarmac in the Canary Islands. And thank you for following our coverage uh, yesterday on Facebook when we brought you uh, two stages uh, with, with Julian Porter yesterday. Of course, you can always follow all the action and reaction from every stage on the FIA European Rally Championship um, through ERC Radio and, of course, uh, today on selected stages on our ERC uh, Facebook page. So uh, wherever you are around the world, welcome uh, along to our coverage this morning. We've got the, uh, the helicopters already up in the air this morning. They uh, left Las Palmas Airport uh, and took off and, uh, and headed up into the... But it's, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Well, I say it's a beautiful Saturday morning because we're at the end of uh, this stop line, uh, which we're just on the edge of a, a little tiny sort of town. We've come from Las Palmas round the coast uh, to the north and uh, we've just come probably about two kilometers inland uh, the stage i don't know whether Raphael's holding the camera this morning but if we just uh, head across here the stage is just on the other side of this uh, this valley so i don't know whether we can just zoom zoom through this little vine that's being uh, that's that's uh, that's growing here but the stage is just on that other side there as they come sort of out of sight uh, behind this sort of fencing system to the right uh, and then and then round to the uh, the time control and uh, the timing beam uh, which is just out of sight under our Oscaro arch uh, this morning so um Raph, if you just swing round to, to the right, uh, you can see the tarmac here. Uh, Julian was probably talking about this yesterday. It's, it's really rough, this, uh, this, this tarmac, but it offers a really high level of grip uh, to the, uh, the competitors using a combination of Michelin and Pirelli tyres, depending on what your flavour of choice is uh, for, for, for driving on this surface. But super, super grippy stuff and, and very abrasive as well. So it, it can destroy the tyres if you get too much heat into them and overwork them uh, a little bit. Uh, right here, this is the end of the stage behind us. We can hear the safety helicopters just uh, flying up above us at the moment, just uh, making sure that everybody is uh, standing in correct positions and so on. Yesterday, in terms of um, stages, the um, yesterday in terms of stages, um, it was fairly quiet, even though it's a very popular rally, this, uh, fairly quiet in terms of um, uh, spectators. Uh, but we had the Las Palmas uh, street stage last night, which was only uh, 1.44 kilometers in, in length. And uh, we had this one last night, and, uh, and, and that was kind of Friday evening. It, it took the rally to, to the spectators uh, in the center of Las Palmas, and that kind of gave flavor uh, of what to expect today when they head out onto uh, onto uh, the, the the hillsides for the, the the main stages up up here in the center of the island so the helicopters flying as you can see uh, with the spectators just tracing out this this short stage Start, stage starts at the bottom of the hill basically winds its way up to the top um, the big fight I suppose 
to think about is Alexei Lukanuk, who's won this rally uh, many times in the past. And uh, Alexei Lukanuk is out in front by uh, 3.8 seconds. But first car is into the stage. That's uh, Suarez who is into the stage. This morning. tenth overall, uh, just 3.2 seconds uh, behind uh, Melenhoff, who is um, is in ninth position. So there's going to be a little bit of a battle with a Spaniard Suarez this morning. But uh, the stage is live, and uh, as you can see, the helicopter is uh, is tracing him across this first test of the day. Got to get a little bit of heat into those tyres uh, as they go into this short stage. And uh, just as we swing round now on the latter part of the stage, it's a beautiful sight here this morning on this volcanic island. So we always say it's the calm before the storm. And the storm is about to start right now as the heli just follows uh, Suarez as he traces round. Let's just try and uh, get uh, Jose to stop just a little bit further up the hill. Brakes are hot this morning so uh, of course we've got this uh, trusty rock that will just wedge underneath the uh, uh, wedge underneath the wheel of the car as he comes up to the stop line so as the helicopter just traces Suarez over the top of us this is the first stage of the day done today we've got eight stages for us Jose comes into sight this morning the car looking absolutely stunning as he comes up to the stop line uh, we're live on ERC radio and we're live on ERC's Facebook page as well this morning let's see what Jose has to say Let's get the door open. Got the unenviable task of opening the road this morning. Get him to sort himself out. Jose, you got the job of opening the road this morning. What was it like? Just give us a little bit of a flavor of that stage. Uh, it was a uh, uh, calm stage because we, we did many changes on the car and I need to, to test uh, during the first uh, kilometer, so I feel better than yesterday. We will see now on the next one. What's the game plan for today? Then obviously you need to move up some places, but do you, is the plan to go from 100% from the word go or see what the other competitors do? What I, do, you didn't, do? I didn't hear you, sorry. What's the game plan? What's the plan for today then? Ah, enjoy uh, and go flat out. You've got the thing on the nose this morning. Is that helping you? I breathe uh, Canarias Island better. <laughs> So if you look at Jose, he's got this little plastic thing on his nose. Um, he, he left it in the hotel room yesterday, but it really helps him open up. He, it's like a bit of plastic that opens up his nostrils so he gets more air in there. A bit like when you go from uh, road mode to stage mode. And uh, it just, just, just really helps him get some more oxygen into his, uh, into his lungs. But that is... Uh, Suarez done and off. So coming into this stage, he was through with, uh, what was it? Well, coming into this stage, he's lying in 10, 3.2 seconds behind Meinhoff. We'll just go over here with Raf to the other end of the stage. We don't have uh, any times, but Suarez setting a time, perfect writing. Have a look at this, perfect writing. Uh, four minutes, exactly 0.6. So that's the, the benchmark. The time above that, five minutes, zero, 2.6. That was the time for the zero car that came through just before we went on air this morning. Right, eyes down looking. This is, uh, we're in uh, top 10 in reverse order this morning. So Suarez opening the road and then next Nicholas uh, Melenhoff, who is uh, coming up towards us, the Austrian driver in the, uh, the Fiesta R5. Uh, Seal, he'll be on his uh, way towards us now. Two minute gaps for uh, the competitors as we always have to air gap for these guys just between the competitors Mellenhoff comes up squeak of those brakes now you can't really see but the uh, the amount of heat coming off the uh, the front of this brake disc here super hot Nicholas good morning you're smiling away there how was uh, how was the stage for you you're really enjoying this rally aren't you <laughs> yeah now I'm awake um, I had a little spin I wasn't quite awake to the first corner, I reckon. Um, I don't know, it was the rear tires probably not warmed up enough and um, it caught me out the first hand, first ride and uh, the rear came out a little bit and then I had a little spin and it took a long time to get round again. But um, yeah, now I'm awake and uh, happy for the rest of the day, I hope. Did you have to reverse back to get yeah, it facing back, the right? Uh, 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 like in driving school, but yeah, it's, we're here, nothing, no damage and uh, yeah, the rest of the stage was good, but um, yeah, to start the day off like this, at least we are awake. That's good, that's good, nice to see you here. Hey, fist bumping as well this morning, hey, look at that, you see, there we go. Uh, right, that's uh, Nicholas Melanoff. Peter Barson stage ends.
It's got two spares in the back of the Fiesta, um, just adding each tyre, we're adding about 22 kilometres in weight into the back of those cars. Uh, so in the, in, in the Junior Championship, uh, helicopter just coming in now with uh, uh, Lube coming in now. So Lube in eighth overall, nine seconds behind Wukush Habai at the end of the day yesterday. Now, if you remember back to the Azores, Lube had to retire from the rally on the first stage on Saturday morning. So that was because a, a belt came off the car with water pressure. I guess Pierre sorting himself out, just disconnecting his intercom inside the uh, the helmet. At, um, Pierre, good morning. You're live on Facebook. You're live on the radio. How was that this morning for you? Uh, I don't know. The feeling was not so bad, but uh, I don't know if the time was uh, was okay. Okay. I don't know the time either, but uh, the feeling with the car okay? Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Okay. What's the plan today? Attack? Ah, we will try. Huh? <laughs> we have to come back after what happened yesterday. So. We'll see you later. Lube, super quick driver. And uh, if you look at, uh, at the Fabia, they're so low, these cars. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, if you look at the uh, how low these cars are, particularly, we'll see it in a bit uh, when, when we see the Polo coming through in a bit, but super low setting on them. Uh, right, let's go and have a look at Lube's time. He said he did uh, what the time was, but Lube with a 3.58.9, so as he says, needs to attack, which he did. So fastest through, we've had four cars, uh, th uh, three cars through so far, and uh, Lube fastest through with a three minutes, 58.9 through the stage. The uh, helicopter from Eurosport sweeping across the latter part of the stage as it just comes down to, uh, to that timing beam at the end of the stage and then comes up towards us. So uh, we've got uh, Lube we're tracing Wukush Habai coming towards us now. Uh, so a Habai, I mean, this is a real confidence boost for Wukush Habai. Polish driver, regular on the ERC, had a disastrous start to this rally a couple of years ago uh, when he planted his car into the wall on the uh, free practice run, and that was it over and done with. But what gives him the confidence boost here is he's got number one on the door. He's leading the championship at the moment, taking that uh, surprising win in the Azores. So that gives him confidence, I'm sure, to have number one on the door. Wukash, good morning. OK, another day, uh, another few kilometers under the wheels. How was it for you? Good morning. Uh, it was good. Uh, you know, we made some uh, changes in the setup and it worked uh, just fine. So now I can drive. Yeah. yeah. What kind of changes did you make? Did you stiffen the car up or soften it off overnight? Uh, yeah, we, we made it a little bit uh, more stiff and uh, it worked very well. So uh, I don't know about the time, but, the, but I, I felt much more comfortable. So uh, it was a short stage, still a long way to go, but uh, yeah, it was good. So is the plan to overtake Herzig today? You know, go, it was 0.9 of a second coming into this stage between you and Norby. So you think you can beat the Hungarian today, move up a bit? Uh, that, that was last night's uh, timing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I will see. Everybody's driving so fast, you know, but uh, for sure we will try, for sure. Good. We'll see you later on. That's uh, Habai. So number one on the door. Sponsored by his company, eSky. So that's his, uh, his business. Uh, so Wukash uh, certainly ERC won this category, didn't he, in ERC3 just a few years ago. I'm being shouted at by uh, Raffaella, our cameraman here at the end of the stage, that uh, yeah, just need to stand up a bit, because I always crouch down to talk to the drive. Uh, it's easy on the knees. OK, tracing up the next car coming up uh, towards us. Ivan Roll is next. One of the... Uh, another one of the Spanish consortium the contingent the uh, anyway the spanish guys are here the i20 doesn't it look great the r5 i20 yeah. so many of them on this event this weekend pirelli tires working super hard on there looks like he just might have scuffed something in there ivan just sorting himself out at the end of the stage we'll go and have a word with him just as soon as he's ready to go this is uh, this driver's office, so we just wait for them and respect what they need to do at the end of the stage. Ivan, how was the stage? Difficult stage. Um, very difficult.
very fast, happy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Difficult, difficult stage, very fast and happy. Short and sweet. But uh, yeah, just chatting away. These uh, other guys here, uh, these are from uh, from local radio here on the island. So they're just uh, also, you know, the, the media coverage here, not just on our ERC outlets, is, uh, is, is incredible. The interest is absolutely amazing. So uh, I've got some newspaper, uh, or, or the newspaper behind us here. Actually, we'll just, while um, Ivan rolls off, we'll just whiz round here. You know, the local paper this morning it's a big rally in the island, absolute big deal because uh, we've got a front page cover of the local paper this morning, uh, all the big pull out section and supplement in there. I was told to bring this to the stop line this morning. So anyway, we've used the prop, we've got that here. Uh, but as I say, it's a, a big event here on the island and uh, you know, so many people on this Saturday morning will be heading up into the hills uh, to see what's going on. But we go. that was Ivan, Aris Rom. Herzig is next up. So Norby Herzig, regular on the ERC and of course, yeah, the sole polo driver this morning. So if you look at the front of the car as it comes up towards us, it's so, so low is uh, Herzig's car. It's like you can see the scuff plate at the bottom has just been you know, bumped and scraped away. But um, it's almost like go-kart setting. So this is the Soul Polar, but look how low it is. It's, you can't even put your foot underneath it. Norby just loosening his belts off. Norby, good morning. How was the stage for you? Good morning. Hello. See you again. Uh, everything was okay. It was a good warm up for this uh, day. Uh, we could uh, uh, a good uh, choice for the tires, and the feeling was as well uh, uh, okay. So we are push uh, go on. Okay. Push hard. Push hard. Good. Good. We'll see uh, as he goes. So good stage from good feeling. But Graf, if you can just see how low this car is you know, compared to the height of my foot as he pulls off. I was saying to Julian yesterday on ERC radio that uh, he looks like one of those uh, kind of cool kids that drives around town with his arm out of the window because the, uh, the setting is uh, just dialed right down. That's what they want though, is, is go-kart setting on these cars compared to the ride heights from the, the rough rallies. They're just barely touching the ground. Uh, Norbert Herzig's time with a three minutes 56.5, 356.5. Uh, fastest through so far with a 355.7 yeah, is the fastest, 355.7. That is uh, car number 11, which is uh, Ivan Aris Rohn. The helicopter tracks yet another car coming through this morning, thick and fast. Uh, we're live on ERC radio and on Facebook this morning as well on the ERC Facebook feed. Uh, so that is uh, why we've got uh, everyone following us online this morning, which is uh, fantastic uh, stuff to have. Right, uh, where are we up to next? Let's uh, have a look at the, uh, the timings from last night. It's getting faster and faster as uh, uh, the big boys come through now. We're in top 10 in reverse order this morning. And this is, uh, is Marianne Griebel, who is uh, next up uh, coming towards us. So Griebel is next up. Car number three. Using the Michelin tyres this morning. Get himself sorted out at the end of the stage. Marianne, I suppose the today is attack to the podium. Finishing last night in fourth. Is it possible to grab a third here, do you think, today? If I drive good, I think so, yeah. Are you driving good then? Uh, this one was not perfect, but for the start of the day it was quite okay. And I hope I will drive good, yeah. What's the grip level like in there? We've had uh, one driver's already had a little bit of a spin in there, but uh, is the grip good? Uh, it's difficult to warm the tires before the stage, so in the first two, three kilometers it's quite difficult, but after that it was okay. okay. Michelin was working. Okay. So the game plan's third today? Good, right. Game plan is third position for Griebel. Again, just coming out of the service park in Las Palmas, out of uh, Park Ferme from overnight. And then it's a road section along the highway. And, you know, of course, these guys have got to adhere to the, uh, the road traffic regulations on, on any event. And the car needs to be legal and safe and driven in a safe manner on the road. So, uh, 
you can't put too much heat into those tires by a lunatic before you go into the stage so you've got to then use the first part of the stage to get some heat into the tires to get that car super sticky uh, to stick to uh, to the stages but you know as i say there's a mixture of uh, of tar and volcanic um, ash sort of mixed into this stuff so it is really abrasive and very very grippy as well uh, so it's just the new drivers on their first time on the island here it's, it's trying to gauge that level of grip to where the tire is at its optimum level to throw it around the corners before it then decides to give way and fling you into the arm barrier which is not what you want to do now Chris Ingram now great drive for Ingram uh, you know his, his, his brain's been all over the place uh, uh, recently but his drive is good you know starting yesterday at ninth position in the event and he's clawed his way up during the day he's second in the ERC one junior championship at the moment Chris okay what's the plan for today then uh, keep the third position and just keep improving you were working with your confidence yesterday as the day went on. That showed in the times. Are you feeling confident this morning? Yeah, definitely. Still quite a few hesitations, but I think we're going okay. We're definitely improving all the time, so second pass is going to be much better again. Okay, that's good. We'll see you later on. No problems in that stage. Is it a clean run? All good. All good. All good. Right, all good from Chris Ingram. Uh, we've got on Tuesday night on Eurosport... Uh, we have all access on Eurosport 1 on Tuesday night. We've got all access uh, from the ERC, which is dedicated to Chris Ingram. So we've got our cameras following him this weekend. So, uh, yeah, Chris is uh, all behind the scenes with him today. Ingram, coming into the stage today, he was 36.4 seconds. I'm just checking the times on here. 36.4 seconds uh, off uh, uh, Pepe Lopez's uh, his time. So uh, he is... Um, on his way helicopter is just uh, sweeping round now uh, as we uh, we follow lopez as he comes so ingram is good pepe lopez is next so this is the battle this is the battle at the top this morning we've got a spaniard who wants to beat the russian guy now can a spaniard win on home soil today we'll find out later on as we tackle stage 16 and then all the ceremony in the service park in las palmas tonight but of course alexi lukanuk uh, has won here three times before. Can he do it again? Uh, Lukanuk was on for the win in the last time out, but he had a puncture on the penultimate stage, and then that caused an issue for him to uh, cause his brakes to fail on the first corner of the final stage of the rally. He crashed out in monumental style, but it's fantastic for Citroen as well today. Fantastic for Citroen. One, two in the Canary Islands after day number one. So uh, for the PSA group, that's fantastic. Let's have a word with Pepe. Pepe, how was that? Well, we have a uh, touch in the first corner, so uh, not the best stage for me. I, I thought the, the, the rubber was not the, to take the grip as soon, uh, and, and silly mistake, but okay, uh, let's try to push again. Okay. So what happened? Did you have to reverse or, or anything? Sorry? Did you have to reverse or anything? No, you just, uh, just yeah, a silly mistake. a bit on the first corner, so the, the pace was not the, the perfect for the rest of the stage. All right, putting his game plan off. Uh, let's, he said he has a touch on the first corner, so let's just run round the other side. Yeah, he just scuffed the wall. Maybe if we're on just just a tiny, tiny little bit, just a little scuff there. And a little bit of damage hanging down the back there. I don't know what he's like. Something's fallen down in the back of the car. It's like one of the um, the sort of the skirts that keep the stones and the rocks out of the uh, the rear brake calipers. Uh, so, yeah, Lopez. Not so good, putting his game plan off. Now, coming into uh, the stage today, uh, we've got a look at this. It was uh, just, oops, hang on. Hang on, I've broken it. Oh, I've broken it again. Not to, uh, we had uh, 3.8 seconds, the difference between Lopez and, uh, and uh, Lopez and Alexi Lukanuk. Three minutes, 55.4. 355.4 uh, for Lopez, car 15. Next up. Alexi Lukanuk. Don't want to put too much pressure on him. Alexi always doesn't need uh, need the pressure from uh, us reporters on ERC radio at the end of the stages. Well, uh, in particular, I'm a big fan of Lukanuk. I think he's got uh, uh, some serious talent and uh, he is rapidly quick and piles in into the car and he pulls those belts tight. He can set some monumentally fast times. But the second of the Citroens coming through to the end of the stage here. 
puncture, I think. He's got puncture, puncture, front left puncture for looking at his damage, damage, damage to looking look at the end of that. Looking has hit something in the stage, damage the steering's all over, so it looks like it's gone into Lopez's hands. 3.8 going in there. We can see what the damage is here, but he's cracked the rim, hit the wall on the front left. In and have a word with him because he's going to have to go in a moment. Alexi, we can see exactly what happened. Where did it happen though? Yeah, we clipped something inside and seen, I don't know. You going to try and fix it or is it game over? We'll see, I don't know. Okay, this is the story this morning. I think what we'll do. Let's, let's follow, let's follow for a minute if we can. Let's just, uh, if we can go up the road and let's just have a closer look at, uh, at Lukanuk's car. Cause this is, this is the guy who's leading the rally coming in this morning, very, very dejected. We're gonna run up the street with Raf and uh, as you can see here, clip something on the inside corner. This is the big story this morning. You can see that car. I don't think he's gonna get far. I mean, even if we follow him around the corner, he's out of time control. Let's just move up. This is the big one. Rally leader going for four time win here this morning. First stage of the morning. And he is out of the car. He's clipped something on the front left there. So it looks like he sheared off the, uh, the all the suspension linkages at the front. So it's uh, four stages in the loop to go. He's completed one of them for Lukanuk. A disaster for him. The car was uh, reshelled after the impact, the high speed impact on the final stage of the Azores. So, a new chassis. The drivetrain and uh, an engine were salvageable from the, uh, uh, the big impact in the Azores on the opening round of the season on the final day. Lukanuk, as you can see, is uh, is out of the car we're live on facebook and we're also live on erc radio so that's why we're uh, uh we're just describing what's happening at the end of the stage as well so alexi look at out of the car door open i have a feeling this is going to be terminal for him i mean they're going to work on this now they're going to get this car jacked up Alexei Antonov is out. Get the wheel off and then we can see what the uh, is going to happen here. Another car coming. Got uh, an I-20 just uh, on its way. This is the R5 I-20 just coming through. The uh, stewards from the rally are just uh, checking that everyone's underwear and garments and everyone's conforming to, to the rules and playing by the, uh, the regulations here just to make sure everything's okay. Uh, you can see just off down there, Raphael is uh, just having a look. Um, but uh, Alexi is, uh, let's just have a, a closer look now to see if this is fixable. It looks like the suspension strut is, uh, is broken and sheared off at the bottom. It's, uh, I think that body language says it all. Let's just come round to the back raft here. Let's crack the rim, hit the wall. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. You can see in there, it sheared off the uh, the mounting. Let's have a word with uh, Alexi. Alexi. Rally Canarius finished then? Yeah, game over. So what happened? In the first left corner, I think uh, I was too much inside and uh, clipped something. Did you feel the pressure from uh, from the Spaniards behind you today? Was, was, was that causing the uh, the mental strain to, to push you hard? Yeah, of course, we were on a, on a right mood, you know, to fight. Um, but uh, it's hard to explain this thing, actually. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's hard for us to watch you as well, because you are you know, so quick. But, you know, when the luck's on your side, you are the most incredible driver. And when the luck's against you, 
you have the most spectacular exits from the ERC rallies. Yeah, good for you. It, it, but I feel for you because we want you to succeed all the time. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, I try to do the best I can, but... Uh, well. We understand. Yeah, thanks. So, as you can see, Rally Leader is out of the event on the first stage of Saturday morning, the final day of Rally Islas Canarias for 2019. It's round two of the championship, and uh, you can see here live on uh, ERC's Facebook feed, and of course you can hear it on ERC radio that uh, Alexei Lukanuk is uh, out of the event. The, uh, the car uh, is terminal damage to the front left of the, uh, the Citroen and uh, that is game over for him this morning. Heartbreaking stuff at the ERC, from the highs to the lows. We cover every stage for you on the FIA European Rally Championship, and uh, as another car goes past, that's uh, Chevy Pons. Uh, he's on his way, car 14, your former world driver here, uh, driving here on the island this weekend. So uh, that is, uh, you know, looking at it's, uh, it, it it's just so difficult when you know he you, you can see he puts um, such a brave face on things on the outside uh, but but inside what's going on in his brain you know it's it's must be just heartbreaking you know I'm, I'm, I'm not a driver but watching you know the the ERC champion from last year you know having the pressure on him uh, to win in the Azores and, and it, through no fault of his own it was a puncture that he picked up on the Gramenish stage on uh, on Saturday, well the penultimate stage of the rally. It was a puncture that he picked up there which caused uh, the brake pipe just to, uh, to, um, to to just lose a little bit of pressure and uh, and then his brakes failed on the first corner of the uh, the stage. So that's that for, for Lukanuk which plays in, everyone moves up a position now because uh, uh, Lukanuk is out. Now let's uh, just whiz round now. Who have we got coming up? So Wojciech Staff is next up. So big story. Look at look out of the rally. Wojciech, good stage for you this morning. Well, the the car we changed the setup and it, the car feels a bit better, but we had a problem with uh, not uh, enough warm tires. And uh, in the first kilometer, I had two moments. With the rear, it slided quite a lot, and I was quite afraid not to hit anything. But we survived, and uh, we're, we're trying. You know, we're trying to change the, you know, to, to to find a different setup, and maybe we work on it again in the midday service. We'll see you. Uh, see you later on. That's uh, uh, Wojciech staff. So uh, sliding with the tires. You know, if we put the the hands on them, yeah, you know, they're nice and warm, and you can feel, you can feel the the rubbers like really sticky it's like um you know if you have a a sweet in your pocket <laughs> and it goes a bit uh, a bit too warm and starts just melting it's just finding that optimum temperature for them so that's Wojciech staff you know he was a a big driver it's, it's quite quite warm here at the end of the stage it's got, got a bit of a I would describe it as a bit of a dab on so uh, not really got a good face for uh, Facebook live this morning but a great face for radio um, but uh, Wojciech staff um, you know trying to get some heat into those tires uh, drove regularly. Oh, thank you. That's, uh, look at that. That's great. <laughs> uh, drove uh, in ERC uh, two in the, uh, the the Subaru a few years ago, and uh, you know he's a regular on the ERC. Headed off uh, last season to the uh, the Middle East Championship, and uh, went off. Did that, and then it, we we saw him in Cyprus last year driving the uh, the Fabia R5. But he's back full campaign uh, this year on uh, the ERC uh, for the eight round championship. Uh, well, we started on the islands. This is uh, uh, you know, the last of our island rounds. After this, we're going to rally Leopai in a couple of weeks time. Now, Albert von TNC, he's been holding out for a polo for quite some time, uh, regular driving the Fabia. But uh, Albert von Thurn and Taxis is here, new co-driver for him this year. 
door open. Albert, you're live on Facebook and of course on the radio. Uh, have you got anything to say to your fans at home or driving casually this morning? How was it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hello from Gran Canaria. Um, it's a quite a quite a fast stage to to wake up in the morning. Um, yeah, to, got to find a bit of confidence here on yeah. these on these fast stages. But um, but yeah, I think I'm awake now. Yeah. And the first few corners, the first few corners have caught some drivers out, you know, with uh, not enough heat in the tyres. Was it a clean run from the start for you? Yeah, it was a clean run. We were not, we were not pushing, and so it was a clean run. The car, the tyres were not very hot, and there was not so much grip on some of their places, so we took it easy here for now. Good, good stuff. That's uh, Albert von TNT. Off he goes. Oops. Right, we've dropped back now to uh, to minute gaps between the drivers. There's a massive field here. So let's have a word with uh, with Lemmers. Lemmers damage, damage to him on the back left. We'll notice that when he goes out. He's got a full face helmet on, so we won't be able to hear what he's saying, but we'll have a go. Lemmers, how was that? Bueno, hemos dado en el chicán arriba de salir el chicán le dimos un toque a la parte trasera ahí en la rueda y creo que se reguló un poco. Hemos salido un poco desconcentrado a la parte final, pero bueno, poco a poco y a ver qué pasa. Right, well, there you go. So that's uh, Lemmers. Look at the size of his, uh, his crash helmet. It's, uh, it's incredible. You can't, you can't actually hear what he's saying. But uh, anyway, I think he's all good. Apart from, just come this way, Raf. Damage back left. This is exactly the same sort of issue that happened to uh, to, to Lukanuk. But at the back, you see how the rim is almost cracked there. And the, the problem in these stages, you can see how it's shaking as he goes away. It's just off camber. So. Uh, uh, we're yeah, live, hey, Chris, Chris, yes, Chris. Chris. <laughs> um, right, Alex. Every time, I, there we go, right, where are we up to? Let's have a word with uh, Alexandra Sloftis now. <laughs> Alexandra, okay, second day on your uh, tarmac debut rally, should we say, on this island event. How was this today for you? Obviously learning it this weekend. Are you improving? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we, we do have the speed. It's just our pace notes a little bit off uh, too much of the gravel side. We're braking too much early. Uh, apart from that, I mean, uh, everything is fine. It's just we need to improve a little bit our pace notes so we keep on the a little bit speed on the corners and then I think we could be on the pace. You're used to driving in heat and these new race overalls that you're wearing this weekend, is that helping you? It's actually, uh, it's quite cold with this overall, so yeah, it's too, it's for the heat, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward for the next stage. Good. All right, we'll see you later on. That's uh, Alexander Siloftis. He's got um, really thin race, race overalls, um, really thin race overalls. They're not as thick, so um, where this thick material keeps you warm, but his are really, really thin. Emma Falcon's here. Emma Falcon is in. Hang on. <laughs> Let's have a word with Emma. Emma, day two for you. How was it? Uh, I think it's good. Uh, we lost a little second in, on the corner, but the, 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 it's okay. So, yeah, thank you. That's good. Emma Falcon driving the uh, the R5 Citroen. Yeah, you know, we've seen her in the uh, well, winner of the ladies uh, trophy last year. So uh, winning, winning that, and getting all the details, and uh, so moving on now to, uh, to to running in this event in the uh, the R5 car. So uh, lives in Las Palmas. Ah. She played a little bit of football. There we are. <laughs> this is right. The things you do between minute gaps between cars. Right. Uh, first of all, our baths comes through. This is the. Uh, the new sort of championship, or the cup, running within ERC2. Manari is here. Good morning, how was that? Good run for you this morning? Well, it, for me, uh, it seems a very difficult stage. Uh, it's the first one uh, for, for this day. We, we have all, all the job done, so uh, it's only testing some, something uh, different in the, in the car, so uh, happy to, to to this morning now. That's good. Okay, super. Thank you very much. Uh, the Arbas, these are the ones who fours. We saw them on selected rounds uh, last year on the selected uh, events towards the back half of the season. But we've got our our, 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 our cup running as a, as a separate uh, sort of a separate championship within uh, ERC2. Rear wheel drive, 
uh, the Arbath, amazing car, but really lively. Let's just pull on. His, he's going. We've got the uh, the guy from uh, local radio here, just also covering uh, the event this morning. Bernardi is here. Next up, leading an ERC three. Good morning. Good morning. How's everything inside the Renault this morning? It's not a good stage for me. Uh, I think uh, my tire is too hard for this short uh, stage. I'm, I'm trying better in the next stage. Right, tires a little bit too hard this morning, so uh, just have a quick look in the back. Two spares in the back. And uh, it was Mika Hockenen yesterday. Mika Hockenen. Uh, and uh, let's just go and have a quick look at uh, Lukanuk. Yeah, Mika Hockenen yesterday uh, in the ERC3 Junior Championship. Uh, now, Mika Hockenen, he had uh, two spares in the back of the car. This is in the two-wheel drive uh, car that he was driving. Uh, two spares in the back, quite, quite a lot of the drivers took with them yesterday morning. Uh, Mika Hockenen had a, a, a puncture in the stage number two, so he put the spare on. And then on the road section to stage number three yesterday, he had another puncture and then done. So he had uh, uh, no spares to complete yesterday and uh, his rally was over and done with. Yesterday, though, we had um, a lot of drivers heading out in the morning with two uh, spares in the back. And then in the afternoon's loop uh, after service, they came back with just one spare. But let's just run over here and uh, just have a look at uh, our, our rally leader as we wrap up our coverage on... Uh, on uh, ERC's Facebook feed this morning. So uh, as you can see here, this is uh, uh, the Citroen from Alexi Lukanuk, who was uh, leading the events coming into this stage and terminal damage on the first test of the day. You look inside here and uh, basically where the suspension is, it's uh, sheared off this mounting here and uh, the, 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 the wheel, as you can see, it's not solid. You can rock it back and forth. And uh, there's a lot of heat in this, uh, this wheel rim as well. So it's been rubbing and grinding, almost like a lathe, you know, cutting the metal off uh, through the stage. And, uh, uh, and, you know, we've got three more stages to go after this and some tough road sections as well. Uh, so we're very, very close to Las Palmas. Uh, so um, absolutely heartbreaking stuff for, for Alexi looking at this morning. Uh, the tyres all rubbed and worn. So uh, that, unfortunately, is uh, round two of the championship uh, with uh, 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 not finishing. Alexi Antonov is, uh, is here as well, just propping the car up underneath there for safety so it doesn't uh, uh, drop down. So, um, you know... A really tough way to uh, to wrap up uh, the morning and, and to wrap up the, the rally for Alexi Lukanuk. Uh, you've been following our coverage uh, this morning on ERC's uh, Facebook feed. Uh, the big news of the day is this Citroen is not going any further. Our rally leader, Alexi Lukanuk, is out. That means everybody else moves up one position. What will happen on the stages as they go live? Well, uh, we'll be off air on Facebook in a moment, but you can cover well, follow all the action on ERC Radio because Julian Porter uh, and myself will be at the end of the next stages as well, bringing you all the action and reaction as the final day of Rally Islas Canarias continues uh, up in the hills behind us. Uh, but we'll be back live for stage 16 on Facebook uh, this evening. Uh, for the final test of the event will be live streamed on our social media platforms so you can follow all the action live then but don't go anywhere if you're watching Facebook now switch over on the ERC website to the ERC radio feed where we're live right now we'll catch you there but unfortunately as we pull back here just have a quick look Alexi Lukanuk is out of the rally this morning we will catch you later on today <laughs>